I'm here in the windiest city in all of Ukraine. It's called Dnipro. It used to be called Dnipro Petrovsk. And what I did was, when I came here today, I looked for the dodgiest hotel, the worst reviews on booking.com. It's over there, it's a monstrosity. And I would like to invite you to my bedroom to have a look at it. Let's go and check out Dnipro Petrovsk's worst hotel room. Now then, before we go and have a look at the old Hotel Dnipropetrovsk, the wondrousness of it, I should show you why the city is called Dnipro. And that is because of the river Dnipro that flows through it. Look at it, how lovely it is, flowing down to the Black Sea somewhere down there. And over on that side of town, well, over on that side of town, apparently is the rough part of Dnipropetrovsk. It's where all the Gotniks live, all the factories and abandoned buildings and mosaics. But I'm being a celebrity vlogger, I'm staying in the nice part of town. The worst hotel in the best part of town. There she is. The Gotel. It actually says Gotel Dnipro Petrovsk, not hotel. I think Ukrainians pronounce Hello, Gotel. Hello, my friend. Hello. I've seen you. Oh, oh, how lovely. Even Dnipro Petrovsk. How are you doing? Hi. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hello. Nice to meet you. Are you locals? Yeah. Who would have thought it? Recognize Dnipro Petrovsk. Anyway, here is the Gotel Dnipro Petrovsk. Now we're going to walk inside and when you see the lobby, you're going to think that I was having you over. You're going to say, wow, this is wonderful, this hotel. But don't be fooled by the lobby. We've got to go to the top floor. That's where the real, where it really shines. <laughs> Let's do it. Now, before we go to my floor, I want to show you floor seven, because obviously here, they've done a nice, what you would call in Russian, eremont. They fixed it up. And if you pay an extra 10 quid, you get a room on this floor. But being as tight as I am, we're staying on the ninth floor. Let's go up there. And I'll show you the real Sovietness. Wow, but look at this, a Soviet stained glass window. And this is the ninth floor, where all the wondrousness happens. Check it out, the old wooden whatever. Check out the pot plants. You know you're in a provincial Soviet hotel when you have random pot plants. Check them out. Let's go look at my room. These ladies said it's like stepping back to the USSR. Get ready. And here we are, guys. Wow, check it out. Even the staff find this place atrocious. <laughs> check it out. Anyway, let's not get distracted by the staff. Look at the wonderfulness of the Soviet hotel room. Soviet floor. I like this touch. We've got a Dnieper 4021, 4021 fridge. Look, hasn't been used since Gorbachev was in power. What a lovely fridge. A random glass and a plate. We've got a couple of single beds. I don't know which one I'm gonna to choose tonight. We've got um, a nice bedside lamp. Let's see if it works. You never know. You never know. And um, does it? Oh! Why did I doubt the Hotel Dnipro Petrovsk? And we've got a lovely TV. Um, I don't know what model that is. I don't know if that's also a Dnipro. Now I know what you're thinking. Enough of the fridge, enough of the bed, enough of the flipping TV and the little chair and table. Show us what we came here for. Show us the real stuff. Show us the bathroom. Let's check it out. Et voila, a Soviet bathroom. Check it out. You got a Soviet toilet. You've got a Soviet sink. You got a Soviet whatever that is, and a Soviet bath with a Soviet shower. Well, that was the bathroom. The last thing I can show you is the view from the wonderful room. Now, there is a balcony, but we can't use it because the door has been sealed up. I presume to stop people from throwing themselves off the balcony and committing suicide because they've ended up living at the Hotel Dnipro Petrovs. But we can look out the window. Onto the windy city of Dnipro. There it is. Beautiful. Look at it. In all her glory, 
So um, yeah, this is what you get for 15 quid in Dnipro. And I flipping like it. I've paid 15 quid and I've traveled back 30 years, 40, 50 years to the Soviet Union. All right, guys. Until the next Daily Bowl sometime next week when I have a bit more free time, I've got some ideas for you. Until then, see you later.